Allah Akbar. As a commander, my job is to set up an environment for my soldiers uh, where they are comfortable. Private First Class Chad Jakimovitz says that talking to your band of brothers is helpful because according to him, before joining the army and even after spending some time as a soldier, he had a different idea about Muslims until he met specialist Zachary Kluan. I came in the army and did basic training and had a whole different idea of things, you know, because of things you see on TV, but he's just kind of changed my changed my point of view on certain things. How did he do that? We used to be, you know, I guess bunk mates or, you know, we lived in the same same quad and we would just talk like about like like random things like uh like I would ask him about his religion sometimes, you know, and uh, like certain things that he does, why, you know, and he would just talk to me just cuz I was curious. You know, before, you know, you could say I was ignorant, you know, because you can't judge a book by its cover. Once I actually opened the book and spoke to him, you know, it, he just totally just blew my mind. Did he ever talk to you about Christianity? I'm Catholic, you know, like, and he would ask me the, pretty much the same questions I would ask him, you know, like, a, like, what is your view? And pretty much um, God and Allah, they're the same person, you know, they just have a different name. You know, we're all praying to the same God, he's just a different, he's just a different name. It's evident that spending a little time with someone who has fears about your faith can seriously help in dispelling rumors and misconceptions. And Captain Arada believes in this concept and encourages his soldiers to talk amongst each other. It's gonna take time, bottom line. That's what it's gonna take. It's gonna take uh, individual Americans and individual soldiers meeting more and more Muslim individuals and talking with them and finding out, wow, I was wrong, what was I thinking? you know, if, if they have those preconceived notions. But besides experiencing individual Islamophobia from fellow soldiers, Zachary Kluan also talked about Islamophobic remarks from some members who belong to the chain of command. To be honest with you, I really don't know. I don't know why, uh, if, uh, for instance, I, I don't know if it actually does happen. Uh, I don't know if Kwan's case is the only case. I don't know if there are tons of cases on Fort Hood. I, I really don't have that information. And, uh, is that being investigated? Uh, there are more cases like that? I believe so, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure, honestly. So right now, I think the main idea of Fort Hood is, you know, as, as a commander, you know, I talked about command climate. Um, as a commander, my job is to set up an environment for my soldiers uh, where they are comfortable. You know, our job in the United States Army is to train for war, and that's to fight our nation's battles. That's our job. As a commander, you know, part of that training then for war is setting up that good command climate, that you know, climate where everybody is comfortable serving here. Everybody's comfortable around each other. Everybody can trust each other. Because when we get into combat, it's already too late. Here's Private First Class Chad Jakimovitz talking about his and Zachary's experience when they were first deployed to Korea. When we had first came to the unit in Korea, um, our first day, the first sergeant had brought us into the office. It was me, him, and um, PFC Garul, who we also worked with. We all were new. And um, we were sitting down, you know, and he was talking to us, asking us where we were from and what our religious beliefs were and, you know, everything else. And if anyone, if there would be a problem with any kind of thing, you know, and uh, Kluan had mentioned that he was he was Muslim. He was explaining to the first sergeant his routine, and um, the first sergeant had a problem with it, and he was just like, um, he was like, if I ever catch you doing that, you know, during the working hours, I'm going to smoke the dog piss out of you. And um, right as soon as he said that, I was kind of like looking at Kluan like, did he really say that? You know, like, for real? And Kwan just kind of looked at me and was just like, you know, here we go again, you know. First image, you know, first impression of this first sergeant was good until we started talking to him.
As I was trying to comprehend all the data going into my head, I asked Captain Arata again that the command climate is the very specific thing we've heard complaints of. Maybe not in his own unit, but according to Specialist Kloan and other young soldiers, there are people within the chain of command who showed prejudice against Zachary, simply because he's a Muslim. You know, I, I can't talk about, you know, what rest of Fort Hood, you know, and, and, and all that. I can just talk about, you know, my specific unit and stuff that I've tried to do, you know, to implement, to, to you know, allow for that comfortable atmosphere, allow people to serve comfortably and work so far for me.